Hello all, welcome to Illuminate the Oracle. Welcome and welcome back. All right, so we're gonna see what's going on in the energy for my collective, my beautiful, scrumptious, delectable, I don't know why I keep using um, food related descriptions for you today. I don't know, um, but yes, this, this reading is for my collective. Um, I, want to, I want to see what's going on. What's in the energy? What's my collective going through? Um, what needs to be clarified? What's what's hanging around you? That's what we're here to do today for our session. All right. So let's just go ahead and jump to this prayer. Father God, Mother Divine, Archangel Michael, please cover me in my collective as we receive these messages today. We only seek messages of your highest vibration, messages that you deem for us to receive. Any ill will or evil energy sent our way, kindly, gently block those energies, remove those energies, send those energies back to their original owner, bind them in their own energy so they can never harm anyone again in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. All right, so... We got the moonologies, so let's see. First card out, we'll pull like a five to kind of get the gist of what this reading is about. Holy Spirit, what is this reading about today? What does my collector need to know? What does my collector need to hear? All right. All right, let's see. Ooh. All right, something pop out. <laughs> A new romantic cycle begins. It says new moon in Libra. This could be a romantic cycle with yourself, child, because we all know that the original love, we first have to fall in love with ourselves. And so, you know, there could be something, there could be a, a new romantic cycle involving yourself. <laughs> there could be a whole new way to love yourself that you've discovered as we are constantly continuing to discover these things about ourselves. And so it really is, you know, your prerogative, whether this is involving yourself or if it's involving someone else. But even in the event that it involves someone else, it still has to be that um, trial and error, an era. Um, not trial and error, but um, an era of time when you're to yourself, by yourself, and for yourself. And I believe that was a time of healing. <laughs> All right. Um, balsam balsamic moon. Okay. And know that your commitment is being tested. All right. So we'll look into that. All right. What else is going on with my collective? What else my collective need to know? What else my collective need to hear? Happy like early spring. I kind of kind of feel the little just the spring. Everywhere I look around. Uh, all right. Anything? Probably probably not. Okay. We'll move on decks. Go to, I'm being called to pull activation. So I'll pull an activation. All right. All right. So we got the activations. What else does my collective need to know? What does my collective need to hear? What's going on in the energy of my collective? Holy Spirit, what does my collective need to know? What does my collective need to hear? What's going on? Show me the energy around my collective. Sacred inner space. All right. So this says sacred chakra, tenderness, and sensuality. Sure. That could, yeah. That could that could definitely be done with with one. Um, I definitely think that that you know someone's opening themselves up and learning to. Ooh, yeah. Solar light upgrade. Look at how bright. Look at my shirt here. Solar plexus chakra, inner fire, and willpower. So it's like, you know, how hard are you willing to fight? Like, how dedicated are you to this? It's something here about whatever it is that you're following, whatever it is you're destined on, whatever it is your destiny is going, where you're, where you're headed, or what's moving in toward you. It's like... Rather it's career-based, rather it's romance, 
um, whether it's, you know, it's personal self-development, it feels like it's destined. It feels like these are, you know, a part of your Akashic records that you're tapping into. It feels like your birthright, your ownership, like whatever feels good or feels right for you. Nobody else can dictate that for you but yourself. So if you have a, a hard time maybe deciding or locking things in or down for yourself, definitely make sure you're taking that time for yourself. Don't badge yourself. Don't abuse yourself. Don't. Please don't. Um, talk to yourself all crazy about like, oh, I just can't get things together. I just can't, you know, I just can't get organized. Or I just can't, 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 can't. Because like, you're damning yourself, first of all. So don't do that. You know, perhaps that may be something that needs to be adjusted in this new era of time. The ways in which we talk to ourselves, how we program ourselves, um, well, the ways in which we talk to ourselves does, in fact, program ourselves. So be weary of that, especially during this time. Um, whatever you're feeling called to do or whatever direction you're kind of um, feeling you need to go, <laughs> that's for a reason. So don't um, downplay it. That's what it's feeling like to me. Don't downplay it. There are so many things that you've done here. You've done this before. You've done these things before. So it's like you have to follow your own intuition, not just because it's something that people like to say, but because it literally is your guide map. That's your own That's your own map that you have to construct for yourself as far as like what the future looks like for you. It's not going to be something that you may have ever known before or ever experienced before. It's not something that you're ever going to want to ask anybody about because a lot of these people are not going to be going the journey that you're going on. This is the age of Aquarius, not the age of Pisces. And the age of Pisces that we're coming out of or have come out of generations and generations and generations past is like, okay, maybe in those times, finding a group, finding groups or finding someone that can kind of color and dictate those decisions for you um that's kind of like a thing of the past you know in the age of aquarian that's the era of the scientists that's the era of okay trial and error let's 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 uh, let's put this to the test that's very aquarian energy let's put this to the test let's experiment let's have our trials our testing trials let's you know pour a little of this pour a little of that Let's see what chemistry that we can kind of put together. Let's see what happens. And so it's like your spiritual team right now and the universe is almost trying to get you prepared or get you ready in that same sort of way of like, you're ready to experiment. You're ready to try this. We're going to try that. We'll push that on you. We'll, you know, push this on you. Um, and nothing's happening to you. It's all happening for you. It's all for your own personal development. Because I do feel like it's going to be very... It's a lot of yellow happening here. Um, I felt to be true. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. Um, it's something here about this being like the Jews. It's like... So... The Jews. What do we just say? The Jews. The willpower the motivation, the inner fire, something here, it's like you've been set afire. <laughs> or you're being set, you're not, not that you're being set on fire. You're being set afire. Being, it's like, it's like being lifted up, being set on a platform to be seen, to be viewed, something is you could even be like an inspiration to people people could see you in this kind of yellow energy um people could be witnessing a, a regeneration within you because this card literally says abundance downloads regeneration success it's the central sun so you could only reach this level of things only after a certain level of darkness, healing, being with oneself, because the middle word, the middle description for this card is regeneration. So that had to be obtained first. There needed to be steps. There needed to be steps that you, there were steps that you had to follow. There was a path that was laid for you that was likely untracked. It was likely a path that um, 
no one you knew had gone down before and you had to kind of just go there. You had to just uh, feel the feels. You had to feel your way through. And it's almost like, you know, in this way, you become your own light. Um, but it's like, it's not feeling like you become your own light just for yourself. It's almost like you've become your own light for others, to people to see how you've done it or for people to see how you're doing it. Um, it's going to give you a success. And it's also going to be whatever this is, it, it was something that you use to regenerate yourself. Or you'll be regenerating from it. Nope. It feels like it's already kind of a done matter. Like you've done the work. You've done the healing. And now it's being shown. Highlighted. Ooh. I am present. It's being present. It's being shown. I am presence. This card says light body activation. Accessing the divine within. So you've been guided this entire way. That's what you've been following your spiritual team. <laughs> Those tracks that you didn't know where you were going and you just went anyways. And you just followed your, you followed your voice, you followed your inner calling. And that's what this card is. It's like your spiritual team is always with you. <clears throat> you know, they've been trying to communicate it to you. <laughs> time time to get it out. It's the energy of someone that has listened, that knows it. Um, that they are not alone. <laughs> we are here with you. Um, and so, yeah, you're getting these, you're getting these uh, messages direct. <laughs> it's, it's direct. All right. Um, so, yeah, it's, oh, my goodness. And this is definitely like the energy of like... <laughs> heavy creativity in this energy a lot of things can be born from this energy so it's almost like it's a, it's it's whatever you want whatever you can imagine for it um i feel like you're glowing right now <laughs> just a side note that's not that's just a side note i think that you're glowing right now i think that people can see it and so it's also kind of this Slight warning to be mindful of your surroundings or where you are. Make sure, you know, being conscious of like who's viewing you too as well. <laughs> not something that you're protected. It's not something you have to be um, obsessed about because <laughs> you're protected either way. But it's something like, you know, having a little bit of awareness of because you're having a lot of eyes on you, glances on you. So it's like have a light familiar. Nah. A light awareness about all these eyes that are, that are viewing you. Have a light awareness about you know who's viewing you, who's checking you out. Um, but either way, it's just like you're bright <laughs> because you're signing your light. You could be communicating something here that. Could... <clears throat> oh, here we go. Sort of light, divine protection. It's divinely. You be, may be communicating divinely protected communication as we're doing here. Um, it says here, divine protection, cords cut and breakthrough energy. So also there need to be cords that need to be cut in order for us to also, I uh, guess, feel and dance and play in this energy that we are now, that we are now walking through. Um, and therein lies the breakthrough. And it also is like more of that fiery break. There's more of that fiery energy, right? Just in that illustration cutting through it's like you were always just to cut through to be that sore to cut through something <laughs> to cut two things there may have been uh, maybe some BS you had to cut through the light does that too any kind of way that you are the Sun <laughs> and I'm not even just talking about masculine energy because we take on regardless of sex we take on all these energies here down the earth school um, <clears throat> but it's like whomever I'm connecting with, you're shining your light in any way. We, in any way that you do it, we do it in our own 
ways. But it's like it's the things that you do, people do look forward to it. People do, um, you never know who you uplift, even in those small moments, in the ways that you show up for yourself. You don't realize how you show up for others in the ways that you show up for yourself. You may have done, you be, there, there would be things that you do that you do them for yourself. They can be a part of your regiment, your part of your self care. But it's like, it's something about the way you do what you do. It can be seen or felt. It can be seen or felt when people are around you. It's like, you teach people how you, te it's like you're, you're teaching <laughs> just by way of doing it for yourself. I, I don't know who would need to hear that. All right. <clears throat> Moving forward, what else am I collecting to know? What is my collecting to hear? Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. <clears throat> so that's three cards that popped out. So first we got a Naki light code. So it's energetic shift, new information, end of a cycle, all right? So <laughs> this information is coming in. There's gonna be some new information coming into you. It's going to be of benefit to you um, because it's like spirit, the universe knew that Collective just has to wrap up the cycle that they're in and da -da 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 like that Super Mario Bros, that classic style Super Mario Bros is like, okay, now you're going to the next level. So we're going to drop some mushrooms. We're going to drop you some information and it's going to be that boost. That da -da 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 -da. It's going to put you into that mode. Da -da 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 -da. All right. And it's going to be an energetic shift. It's going to be, it's going to put you, it's, you're going to be whatever it is that you're headed toward. Don't doubt your resources don't doubt how i'm gonna get from a to d to, how i'm gonna get from a to d right it's like there's something in the midst there that's going to be of service that's going to be servicing you that's going to be a service to you something like that don't worry about the steps in between because spirit's gonna guide your way it's like it's it's kind of how I, I hear it not how I hear it. It's kind of how I'm seeing it because I'm picturing Super Mario Bros. And I'm hearing, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and in the Super Mario Bros., it's like when you get to the level, you jump on the box and it's like it pops out. You, you granted something that you didn't, you may have, maybe you knew it was going to be there. Maybe you didn't know it was going to be there. Either way, you hop onto it and it's something else is going to, you're going to re be receiving resources on the go. <laughs> It's kind of how I'm trying to say it. So don't ever get caught up on what you have or what you don't have because you can block your manifestations that way when you allow yourself to get caught up in what you don't have. So don't be in that glass half empty kind of vibe right now because you're going to F up your manifestations of what's coming toward you. So be sure that you're always kind of, you know, having the glass, being optimistic about it, having, you know, try to find silver linings about it. That doesn't mean to, you know, always be positive. We have the right to, we have our bad days to have our bad days and to fill them out, fill them through, try to figure out what that's about. It's okay. It's okay to have those days where we need to be a little silent, pull back, you know, all to ourselves. Having, looking at the silver line doesn't mean to, to be positive all the time. It means to gain perspective on yourself because we can allow ourselves to be emotionally pulled in all sorts of directions. And that doesn't always mean that we are supposed to be pulled there. We are not necessarily our thoughts, you know? We are, a lot of us are just channelers. Rather we realize it or not, we pick up a lot of things, we pick up on energies, we pick up on other people's things. We can't claim these all for ourselves and we don't wanna. So don't always think that they're, don't always over associate with all your feelings and thoughts. That's why it's important to manif to to be in um, constant states of like meditation and prayer. Any way that you can to clear your thoughts, to clear that data, to clear it, because if it's just packed and packed and packed and packed full of thoughts, if you never think, if you never create times to clear it, it's just a, it's just you know, it's just, hmm. it's like constantly eating and having no way for it to go out right so we know physically what that can do what the ramifications of that physically on our body would be horrible for it would be dest destructive to our health 
right? If we didn't have ways of output. It's the same thing energetically. If we don't have a way to get those things out of us energetically, mentally, if we don't have a way to quiet our mind, then it just can run amok in the same way that our bodies can run amok if we just keep feeding or over social over in the same way that if we were to <laughs> overfeed ourselves and have no way to, to output. I need to just okay. Anywho, so yeah, no, these are learning experiences. So don't this is our school. Don't be, I guess, overly sentimental or overly sensitive about what's happening during this time. Just allow things to go with the flow. Allow yourself to go with the flow. Allow your, have grace with yourself. You don't have to be the expert at things. Know that you're going to learn it. If, if there are things that you still need to look up or look into. Um, but I do with this yellow, very present in this energy, there are skills or there's some sort of expertise or some sort of way of going about it that you already have or that you already are in the know about that you definitely need to have confidence in or about. But there is also that energy of like constantly be supplying yourself with new information or be open to receiving this new information as it comes through. All right. Because you are aligned with your purpose, Akashic Stargate. So you are locked in. Whomever I'm connecting to, you are locked in. So keep going. It says align with purpose, crossroads, and no wrong path. Destined, right? As I was saying at the beginning of this reading about this all being just destined for you. So nobody can, don't allow anybody to like um, fool you. <laughs> And don't fool yourself, right? Because there's no wrong path. Whatever it is, they you, you can't go wrong with this. It was destined. So just get, if you need to get yourself comfortable in the motions, then get yourself comfortable with the motions. But that's literally all it seems to be. Maybe just getting acquainted. Okay. Um, hmm. Order of, what does that say? Um, Melchizedek? Mel Melchizedek? Order of Melch Melchizedek. It says embraced by light, mission uncovered, don't give up. So you're, you've been covered. This is someone, as I said, <laughs> someone whose mission has been uncovered. You know exactly what it is that you need to be doing or that you should be doing and that you came here to do. <laughs> and it's beautiful. It's magnificent. Um, and so, yeah, Spirit's saying, you got it. Don't give up. You're being guided. Tap in <laughs> regularly. Make these a part of your day-to-day, -day, you know. Um, a lot of us can't just meditate one day, once a day. A lot of us have to kind of meditate throughout a day. So always be checking in throughout the day, you know. I know for me personally, I, it's got to be that early morning. It's got to be that midday afternoon i always kind of hit a wall energetically that's kind of how i started to do it um i started meditating when i had when i was in my mid-20s i had moved to new york city and i was really anxious about the experience and there's a lot of energies that i was obviously feeling being in that experience and so i, I kind of have panic attacks um uh, to myself and i had to kind of figure out a way to do it and i was kind of gently pushed into meditating without even realizing that's what I was doing. I was just pulling myself away alone, putting like my head in between my legs and just breathing through it and kind of just pushing all the thoughts away. Um, because it was a soul memory. It was like, nobody had to tell me to do that. I didn't read that nowhere. I didn't hear that nowhere. I just followed my own internal guidance. Follow your own internal guidance. They're gonna be you'll be self-directed. This is an age of Aquarius entity that we've been gifted. Like you'll be self-directed. You'll be communicated with by your spiritual team. Do this. Try that out. Oh, remember that? Try that out. Taste that. Try that. Like all oh, whatever it may be. <laughs> it's like these things don't come to your fruition out of nowhere. And so try it out. This is the risk goal, you know. Savor it. Taste. All right. All right. 
It says important information once again. It says wounds are healing, recharging. You're recharging, your wounds are healing. And I feel like whatever, as I said, you're glowing, right? There's actually a figure here in the back. This is a glowing figure. You're glowing. I'm not just saying things to say it. <laughs> So you're in your avatar state out here or your super saiyan state, you know, because you've allowed yourself to heal. You've allowed yourself to heal your wounds. You've looked into your wounds. You've taken ownership and account. Uh, you've taken account. Whoo, are we coming up on a murky retrograde, child? Oh, my goodness. Like, my words are like, ugh. But you've taken accountability for yourself. You're taking accountability for your emotions. You're not, you haven't been, you were, you can, you'd be hard pressed to ever be in the energy of all oh, these people did this and that to me and victimhood, victimhood, victimhood. Like you always going to find a way for yourself. And that's what people admire. Um, and it's like that energy of keep doing that for yourself because you teach people, you teach people by way of doing it for yourself. All right. All right. And inner earth. But yeah. Base chakra, strength and security, laying foundations. And so, oh, so, you know, you may be just this energy of like, how can I make myself even more secure? How can we, how can we bang up? How can we bank on this? How can we make it even bigger? How can we expand upon the work that's already been done thus far? I love it. All right. Um, Advice for my collective as we close this reading out. What does my collective need to know? What does my collective need to hear? What does my collective need to know? Ooh. This is here. Decisions are coming up. So, you know, get yourself in that rest. Um, get things to the way that you like them. Uh, so you're not hard pressed or stressed. When these decisions pop up, because you're gonna be people, people are gonna be looking to you for your advice. I feel like as well, people may even ask your advice when it comes to their decisions that they have to make. Regardless, be there for yourself, be present for yourself in the decisions that you have to make as well. And I feel like you will be. Advice for my collective relaxation so please get your rest get your rest get your rest get your rest uh, whenever you feel you need that make sure you're listening to yourself listen to your body as it directs you accordingly as i was saying here um and you'll be good you'll be you'll be, you'll be good babies yes be gentle with yourself gentleness and for my feminine energy energies i do feel like there is a masculine energy that's trying to come through and, and shine some light on something also showcase themselves to be a gentle force in your life where they come they have an urge to come through gently um so spirit is asking you to kind of have a mirror mirror that sense of gentleness in return regardless of where regardless of whether you proceed or not that's not my business it's kind of Regardless of how, where you go with it, um, you may be called to reflect that sense of gentleness. All right. Until next time, Ma. Take care of yourselves. All right.